Вот это я заснял, а? This is what I've filmed right near our house. I went out on the roof to check the situation and they are getting closer and closer. On May 30th, residents of Moscow and the Moscow region found it difficult to remain calm as they woke up from the sound of explosions. Videos of flying drones have appeared on social networks. Reports of explosions and alleged air defense activity came from Odintsovo, Barviha, Krasnogorsk and other suburbs of Moscow. Local residents for the first time felt themselves in danger. What is destined is what will be. You won't see at home either. Of course, you need to think about the safety of residents, especially since this is the capital. The Russian telegram channel Baza was the first to report that 25 drones had attacked Moscow. Then the journalists reported about 32 drones. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that only eight aircraft type unmanned aerial vehicles were involved in the attack, and all of them were allegedly shot down by air defense forces. The mayor of Moscow wrote that the buildings were slightly damaged, but there were no casualties. News about the attack of drones on the Russian capital appeared after another massive shelling of Kyiv by the Russian army. This was the first attack in a day. This time the Russian army attacked residential areas of the Ukrainian capital with drones. 29 out of 31 were shot down by Ukrainian air defense. A woman was killed and 11 others were wounded. This residential apartment building is a typical target for the Russian army in Ukraine. Almost every night the residents of Kyiv are under fire, cruise ballistic missiles and drones fly to the capital. I am stressed and of course angry. I think everyone feels scared when something is flying over their heads. Now it seems we have all survived. Everyone is happy, their life and things of what will happen next. I woke up when I heard explosion. There were some fragments falling. At first it was confusing, but when we started to go down, we saw that everything was converted in fragments, bits. It was all very scary. Drones have already flown into the Russian capital before. On the night of May 3, 2023, two drones exploded over the dome of the Senate Palace of the Kremlin. Then the authorities said that there had been a terrorist attack and an assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin. On May 30, the Investigative Committee of Russia also opened a case of a terrorist attack. However, the State Duma Defense Committee believes that all this is just an information campaign and in general the drone attack occurred because Russia is a big country. We have a very large country and there is always a loophole where a drone can fly by passing the areas where air defense systems are located. Andrei Kartopolov, chairman of the Defense Committee of the State Duma of the Russian Federation, in an interview with RBC. Russian political scientist Abbas Galyamov recalled the situation in the Belgorod region. Then, during the raid of the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Free Russia Legion, local residents complained that the authorities had abandoned them. Today's raid on Moscow somewhat equalizes the situation between the capital and Belgorod. The residents of Belgorod will not be so often now, but the Moscow residents don't care so much. Abbas Galyamov, Russian political scientist on Telegram. The authorities are not capable of protecting civilians from the war that Vladimir Putin started, political analyst Olga Kurnosova is sure. It turns out that when you start a war, when you attack your neighbor, the war can come to your house. I don't know, apparently the Kremlin hoped that this would never happen, but what can I say? This is from the authors who hoped to capture Kyiv in three days. Those who understand what is happening were anxious about the raid of the Legion Freedom of Russia and the RDC in the Belgorod region, because this shows not only the absolute permeability of the border, but also the fact that all law enforcement officers rushed away from there. And in the situation when the regime starts to stranger, no one will defend this regime. Russian propagandists reported that after the drone strikes, the Moscow police announced the Tethun plan, when personnel are involved in the elimination of the consequences of an emergency. Interestingly, this is how the Wehrmacht called the strategic offensive operation against Moscow in 1941, Tethun. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Belokudra, UATV News.